Hello everyone, this is Scott Nash with TheCreativeCosmos.com and I'm with Michael Matheson Miller who produced the movie Poverty Inc. Got the poster here for you. One of the official selections of the Stars Film Festival. And we are hanging out in the Argonaut Filmmaker Lounge here on the 16th Street Mall. And uh, the film showed last night. I'm sure it did very well with uh, the first screening. It's also showing tonight at 9.15. Um, tell us a little about what inspired you to create a film about poverty. Well, yeah, I think it started I was in graduate school many years ago, living in Japan. and. I was a little bit discouraged by the kind of social engineering approach that everybody has taken to poverty. I should say everybody, that so many people take to poverty and that there's a certain way that poverty has really, the, the, the way we try to help the poor has really become an industry. And so uh, we wanted to maybe challenge some of those assumptions and also uh, present both through story and through argument and the, the style, the cinematographic style that, that we use, um, really the subjective uh, dimension of the poor person. We sometimes look at poor people really as the objects of our charity or the okay. objects of our compassion uh, instead of subjects and protagonists of their own story of development. So part of this film is to both challenge some of the assumptions of the current model of development, uh, some of the kind of the establishment way things are done, but also to represent the, um, the uh, poor people in a way that we often don't think of them, uh, just kind of like we would want to be presented. Okay. And how did you go about, once you had the idea, how did you go about finding uh, content from conception to now, you know, I want to produce a film, what do I want it to be about, what was the next step in the evolution of, of what content do I want? Well, we had been working on a large, some of my colleagues and I had been working on a larger project called Poverty Cure, and so we, we knew we wanted to do a documentary film on poverty, and so... Uh, you know, part of it is we had a plan where there's some things we wanted to talk about and then we did about 200 interviews for this project. So, of course, not all of them made it into the film, but, but uh, you know, just going out and talking to people and telling us their stories. Like one guy, you know, told us, he said, you know, a Ghanaian guy is in the film. He said, five companies got together, uh, to Ghanaian companies in Ghana, five companies got together uh, to bid for a project. And everything was going well. They were about to get the job. And uh, a European company got their government to make a loan, soft loan, to the country of Ghana on the condition, of course, that that European company got the deal. And he said, you know, so we lost our money. And he said, and that's not aid, that's not assistance, that's thuggery. So obviously when you hear stories like that, you don't need to do that much work, right? Because, the, you know, so many of the stories came there and so many people we interviewed really, we interviewed, as I said, over 200 people, about 200 people, everybody from the president of Rwanda to uh, development experts at Oxford and Harvard to one guy in, um, outside of Nairobi, a place called Kibera, who borrowed eight dollars from friends and family to start a store. And he told us about some of the challenges that he has, you know, can't get access to um, register his business, he um, is locked out of the formal economy, and um, also doesn't have access to, to clear title to his land. So, so these, you know, our plan, our ideas, combined with interviewing people, help to, to bring the story together. Okay, great. And if people, uh, this is your first film, right? You said, yeah, great. Yeah. That, that's a big task to a, take on that. I taught <laughs> take philosophy on that. Before, a couple of, before that. I mean, well, I've been working at a think tank, but before that I taught, I taught philosophy and political science. So well, it, that's I, like quite a project, your first project. Just yeah, it was, a good, it, was, it was hard. You know, one of, my, one of the producers said, uh, the uh, guy who I produced with, he said, this is maybe overly ambitious, but you know, luckily it's turned out okay. So yeah. we, we, we played here at Denver and we played at a couple other film festivals. And so, you know, we've been encouraged by the response. And I, I mean, I learned, I know, I learned incredible amounts. I watched other, a lot of other documentary films and uh, learned, uh, you know, and then I have great colleagues. So it was good. Perfect, perfect. Great. Well, uh, I definitely want to check it out. There's quite the testimonial on here. Um, General from Executive Director from the Whole Planet Foundation said, this documentary will be required viewing for our entire team. So if that doesn't say something. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, if, one of people, if people want to learn more about uh, the film, what is there a website they can go to or anything? Sure, and go to povertyinc.org and sign up for our, our uh, updates. And uh, we'll, we'll have soon we'll have our screenings up there where we're going to be and uh, the different festivals. And, and yeah, you can get updates from us. So povertyinc.org. Dot org. Fantastic, fantastic. Good. Well, thank you so much for your time. And again, Scott Nash with thecreativecosmos.com. And if you are looking for anybody creative here in Denver, be sure to check out denvercreativedirectory.com. It's an online community full of people, businesses, all different types of creatives that have solutions that you're looking for. So thanks so much. Look forward to the film. Thank you, Scott.